Hi, everybody. Monty on Astral Oracles, and a very happy Solstice to you. I will uh, bring you a Solstice update. I'll connect to um, the Syrian um, blue um, high ones, these Syrian light beings, and let's see what they have to say about uh, the Solstice energies and what also what we can expect from um, the next coming six months, this next uh, coming solar cycle of our time. As you may infer from the background, I'm I'm moving, um, and I'm very very happy and excited about this, and I'm in a in a lovely place, and I'm looking forward to sharing it. But as you also may uh, infer from from the boxes, uh, things are a little unpacked and and confusing at the moment. So when the uh, pots and pens and papers have found their their new spaces uh, to to live in, I I'll, I'll be sharing a lot more about where I'm where I'm at and and what's going on. Uh, but thank you so much for uh, being with me on this uh, journey and um, I really look forward to also being able to to work from from this new uh, space so uh, tons of love to all of you and uh, happy solstice out there Greetings, dear humans. How happy we are to communicate with you this day. How happy we are to be tuning in to a shared bandwidth. What we are communicating, what we are pointing to, what we are looking to illuminate is this bandwidth, this shared frequency grid, this shared space, this voluminous capacity, this cavity of spirit. This is where we meet, this is where we join you, and this is where we open our heart, hoping that you will open yours and connect in love, in peace, in understanding and trust to your higher guidance. We announce ourselves as the Syrian blue light beings. Our friend here, he calls us high ones. We seem quite unlimited to him in space. He sees us often as columns of light extending around him as a type of protective shielding of healing light as a type of funnel, as a store, an arrangement of columns, a calm place to pass through and to recenter and align yourself. This is the space, this is the grid. So the messages that we are bringing to you, we may be expanding your consciousness, extending our understandings in words. Indeed, we hope this is the case. We hope that our words serve to illuminate you to expand your awareness, to let this mode of understanding where you phrase things, to let this mode of understanding grow and be able to hold more capacity for you. Yet, without subterfuge, in full openness of our heart energy. We are mostly aiming to expand 
your energy capacity. Many of you experience this expansion of energy capacity. This process, which can be understood as a detailed element of ascension, of expansion, of becoming more of yourself. Many of you experience this process as unpleasant. Indeed, how do you notice when things are growing? Well, they seem to become too big for size. They seem to outgrow their environments. You experience this if you tend to plants. At some point, the plant will thrive and outgrow its surroundings, or it will begin to wither in an attempt to adapt itself to the restrictions, to the impoverishment of its environment. Therefore, we, along with the angels, along with higher beings, we typically extend this image of cultivators, of gardeners, of stewards, of the land and of life forms to you, because this is an expression of how you should nurse both your inner and outer selves, each other and your own individual well-being. All these you should approach by trying to give it and give them suitable conditions for growth. Suitable conditions for growth means that there is a capacity, a potential that lies within the reach of the organism that is being planted into that context. So you are maybe also aware, if you have been tending to plants, that it is also not helpful then to give a budding plant too large of a pot to try to have to manage, to try to have to grow in. It is more comfortable having a place to expand, but also having restrictions put upon it that is suitable for its proper expansion. Let us therefore point to another nugget of wisdom related to this, as we hope these communications of energy seep in. Let us point to the lesson of patience. You are an impatient lot. You are not unique in this respect. Beings who become aware of time and exist in the early stages of managing these dimensions, they are very impatient. They have fathomed eternity, yet they have not unified it with their state of incarnation and temporality, with their limited extent, with their environment. Your impatience expresses itself then as you grasping the finished result, the thing that you apprehend, the mode of perfection within you, that is the navigational point, the attraction point in time, you want to hold that, to have it, to feel complete at this moment.
Therefore, all your spiritual traditions, they teach you this mode of patience, this mode of gradual adjustment to circumstances as you align with eternal wisdom, as you align either with the eternal certainty of death or the eternal point of light. These eternities, they fill you either with a sense of dread or they fill you with a sense of balance. They fill you with the sense that grasping infinitude aligns you with it and allows for you to sit in this infinity, not awaiting the fruits of your actions, not awaiting the finished product of your growth, the sweet perfection of the fruit body, the ripened version of yourself. You sit in growth, you sit in the expansion, the sensation of the soil around you, the sensation of the air, the feeling of the many processes, the life forms interacting with your being. All these are the temporal enjoyments afforded to the patient being, afforded to the being who balances its certainty, its deep knowledge that it is eternal, imperishable, infinite, who balances this with the knowledge that it is growing, changing, transmuting, adapting, feeling. And in this feeling sentience, there is an ever expanding mystery going on. In this feeling sentience, there is ever more nuance, ever more understanding, ever more quality of emotion expressed, expanded, expounded upon. We love to unfold this energy with you. And this is why we connect in these alchemical connections of consciousness, these link-ups of heart energies, of deep feeling and compassion, of deep joy in sharing, of energies that have emerged from different spaces in the universe only to come together in love. In this joyful expansion, we meet you, we invite you to remain and to grow, we assist you and we appreciate you. In love, we, the blue Syrian light beings, we thank you for your presence with us. We bid you farewell. Farewell. I hope that served you guys much.